Hey guys. Well, this is a fun way to start a vlog, but a vlog, <laughs> a vlog. But you know, it's real. I'm having a bad day. So, I gave myself an allotted amount of time to process that, to feel sorry for myself, and <laughs> to gloat. And now that time's up. So I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna be grateful that I'm alive and that we have another day. The focus keeps going out on this. And yeah, I'm gonna take you through the rest of the day and it's gonna get better. <sighs> It's going to get better because I choose to make it better. And some days that is, that's enough, you know? All right guys, so next I got up, I turned on all the lights opening the blinds and yes I'm in a towel because the next thing I did was take a shower because I have seen a sleep specialist before and the first thing they told me to do in the mornings when I wake up is to turn on all the lights I forgot to open the blinds before I got in the shower but that's okay uh, it's actually a rainy gloomy day out but it's still better than no light at all and yeah I'm sitting on my bed in a wet towel and if you're a woman and you say that you haven't done that you're lying stop lying i'm gonna go moisturize and dry off and get dressed nothing too fancy just enough to make me feel clean and you know less just got out of bed and really don't like anything today <laughs> so i can do something to make myself happy and then i'm gonna make this bed why because making your bed there's literally studies that show how beneficial it is to make your bed every day. And yeah, I know my face is puffy. No, I did not get any sort of anything done. I just wake up, I have a puffy face no matter how much water I drink. It's just who I am. So yeah, I'm gonna get ready and then make my bed and I'm gonna go make some breakfast and I will show you guys what I make and how I'm gonna navigate the rest of this day to get out of this funk, to get out of this mood because again, we are happy, we are alive, we got another day, another chance, another shot. Whoever you believe in, I personally believe in God, whoever you believe in, you know, gave you another shot at life today. So, take it, you know, do what you can with it, give yourself a little bit of grace, freedom to feel, but at the same time, you never know if you're going to get another day. So, spending all day upset and sulking. It's not worth it. It's not. Give yourself time to process and get up and try. That's all you can do. That's all anyone can ask. Alright, I look like a human being-ish. Still didn't do my hair, but that's fine because tonight I'm going to wash it and do a face mask or something of a sort. Probably take a bath. Um, right now I got Nick's sweater on. The belly that you probably can't even... Oh, there it is. You can see her. And then... Some old Victoria's Secret sweatpants and some slippies. And I put on a bra. And I think the bra is the most important part because it makes me feel the most put together. If I don't put on a bra and I'm just moving around the house, I literally don't want to do anything. Like, slug. And then I made this beautiful bed back here. You know, my pregnancy pillow makes it look less cute, but whatever. That's fine, you know. It'll be there for a certain amount of time. There's going to be a lot of things that don't look cute when a baby comes around. Because babies. And now, I'm gonna go get this coffee that's on my nightstand because I tried earlier. I tried to get out of bed. I tried to get up, tried to have a good day, and I quit. I gave myself that hour, I stopped. So I've got this cold cup coffee I'm gonna go heat up, and then I will show you breakfast. All right guys, here's my not so aesthetically pleasing looking plate. I have two Vans waffles, the blueberry ones, and I did two whole eggs. And then these little chicky sausage, and I put this Earth Balance creamy peanut butter and coconut blend on it. 
And then this is what the chicken sausage looks like. I can only find this at Publix. Ever. That's why this one's frozen. Because I literally stock up. Every time I go there, I'm not a regular shopper at Publix. So, like, I get it when I'm there. Because I love this stuff so much. And then I used the rest of this agave for the top of it. Instead of syrup. It's honestly just what I had. It's not a preference. I just ran out of regular syrup. And so I've been just drizzling this on there. And it's actually really good. It looks great. And so yeah, that's my meal number one for the day. Eating. And I know there is some dishes that need to be done. And I could vacuum the floors. And sometimes cleaning up the environment around you does help you feel better. But my house really is not that dirty. Like, at all. I clean a lot. So I'm not going to convince myself that I will feel more worthy if I get those two things done before I do anything else. I'm just not. Like, I don't have the energy for it. I'm not going to wear myself down. I'll wait until I eat and get a little bit more out of this funk and feel a little bit better. And then probably come back to it later this afternoon, clean it up real quick and move on. I know not everyone's like that, but I definitely am because I'm super... Um, I'm not OCD, like I'm not diagnosed OCD, I'm not that level, but that's the best way to compare it as far as like how my cleaning is. So I'm not going to let myself do that this morning, I'm not going to stress myself out. I'm eat this breakfast, drink my coffee, I'm pretty upset I don't have any orange juice. Uh, orange juice? Apple juice. I've been drinking apple juice like crazy. I don't know if that's just like a pregnant thing, because I, I mean I liked apple juice before, but not the way that I do now. And... This is my dog. Would you be? Are you okay, mama? What are you doing? Jupiter. You be. Okay, so we have arrived upstairs. And I'm already feeling a lot better. Opened the window. Turned on the light to get some natural sunlight in here. I could probably turn on the big light, but like I have like all kinds of lights that make me feel happy going on in this room. So I'm gonna stick with those for right now. And then, what was I saying? Words, words are hard. <laughs> okay, and then I got up some stuff to just kind of chill and do and relax, but also be somewhat productive. Actually, Amazon just came at the perfect time, which, you know, I love Amazon. I'm <laughs> gonna have some videos linked up in here. I don't know when you're gonna be seeing this, but when I'm editing this, I'm sure I'll know. So I'll put some links to some videos I have for some Amazon content, which is another thing I'm gonna do while I sit up here. I got, but I got these from Amazon. This is 36 fine line pens to go with my new bullet journal. And I'm stoked about this, guys. I know everyone has like the little leather binded bullet journals, but I don't know what it is. I'm not a lefty, but I just hate, I don't hate, I dislike <laughs> journals where like I can't lay it flat completely and I can't, I don't know, if I can't like flip it all the way back and it stay open. It just bothers me. So I got this huge one. So I have plenty of room for my hands and space. And so I'm actually really, really excited for that. I love journals. I love notebooks. I love creating things. And I'm a list person. So let's put you back over here in the light. So it's kind of perfect for me. And then I brought my work bag upstairs, which I also got from Amazon. This thing right here. That was from me nesting the other day. I got some baby stuff up. <laughs> I have my laptop in here. A couple planners, one for work, one for regular life. So I'm probably going to do budget, go through that, see if there's some stuff I can get done without being relatively, like, super active. Really, it's just, like, a lot of stuff I know I've been wanting to get on for a while. Like, I need to do some editing, like, a lot of editing. I have the time, and I'm going to sit here because I don't want to leave the house. I don't want to do any of that, and I'm going to get it done, and it will make me feel a lot better. Plus, I'm not going to show you the front because it's got an address on it. Me and my Nana. Shout out to my Nana. She's never going to watch it. We're pen pals, so I need to write her back as well today. Alright, next meal. It's been several hours since my last one. I just wasn't very hungry yet. I do get more hungry in the evenings. And it is this acai bowl. I get these at Walmart. I think you can get them at more than one place. I've actually, I think I've actually only seen these at Walmart and 
the commissary i don't know if they have them at Publix. they probably have them at Publix and kroger i don't know i'll look next time i'm there and let you know and i've changed my hairstyle like 16 times Does anybody else do that like change your hairstyle throughout the day all day long yeah that's me but yeah i've got a lot done but i still have a lot more that i want to get done so i'm gonna eat this probably take a 20 minute break so i don't <laughs> fry my brain and get back to work and yeah, that's it for this little snack. I wouldn't call this a meal, snack. Okay, loves, next is spaghetti. <laughs> so I actually used some linguine pasta and a little bit of corn and 93% lean ground beef. I used this brand, but I actually used like the, um, I think it was like the mushroom vegetable version or whatever, but I made it yesterday so that this is the other can that I have. It's a spicy marinara and I'm really excited to make something with that as well. And then I put some real Parmesan cheese on there today, but if you're ever looking for a healthier option, you can always use some nutritional yeast. It's a better option as far as like alternative for like a cheese goes. I didn't want to use that tonight. I wanted some real stuff. But like I said, I made this yesterday, so this is just leftover. I'm going to pop that in the microwave, and this is going to be my next meal. All right, I'm about to go to the gym, and before I do, I'm going to show you this little grocery haul. I put in the order on Instacart because lighting. Lighting sucks in this kitchen. Anyway, I put the order in on Instacart because I did not want to go to the store today. So... This is what we did, and it's from Kroger. So, I have got a pumpkin, <laughs> some thin sliced Dave's killer bread. This stuff is super, super good. I just like this thin sliced bread, yeah, words better because the regular ones are honestly huge. And for someone my size, it takes me a while to actually eat all that down. Then I got some bananas some cilantro because I'm going to be making, that was my dogs, excuse the noise, some cilantro because I'm going to be making some ceviche and I'm going to put this in the chicken and rice I'll be making. Avocados for ceviche and just for life. And then I got this for this chicken salad that I make, barbecue chicken salad that I'm making tonight. Then the meats, I've got an entire pack of chicken breasts, Three packs of the organic ground beef, 85% lean, 15% fat. I have a hickory smoked, what am I trying to say right now? Words, ham steak. This is also for the chicken and rice. I'm making Puerto Rican chicken and rice. And chicken thighs, also for the chicken and rice. Bone in. I have my daughter and her friend, and my mom will all be here this weekend for her birthday. Not my mom's birthday, my daughter's birthday. So we are gonna be doing some marshmallows at the fire pit. So yeah, that's what those are for. Some chips. I've got the blue corn, I like these. I think the ingredients are just better on them and it says organic, but I change up my chips literally every time. Some cereal for the kiddos. Kirsten loves Frosted Flakes. Then I also got some Bonanza spaghetti made from chickpeas. I've had this in all the other versions. I haven't had it in the spaghetti form and it's pretty good. And then I just got some regular, regular angel hair spaghetti because my husband likes that better. Then I got some large cooked shrimp, tail off and peeled. I haven't quite decided what I'm actually gonna put that in yet, but I was craving this, so we went for it. Then some spicy black bean burgers. I love these, but I actually got them for my mom. I'm not vegan, but my mom is vegan. She's a breast cancer survivor, and so she just likes to keep her diet very specific nowadays. She's been in remission for, I believe, five years now. So, yeah, good for her. So I bought these for her for this weekend, so she didn't have to, like, go out or eat around what we eat. Then all these yogurts are for me. I got a peach one and a lime one. And then mixed berries and blueberries. Super excited about that. I've been inhaling yogurt on this pregnancy. Some garbanzo beans because the ceviche that I'm making is actually going to be vegan. 
mostly because I've been skeptical of fish during this pregnancy and because I have a really good recipe for it and it's super good. If you want that recipe, let me know in the comments and I will link it up for you. Then I got some oat milk because I'm just running out of milk. Um, and then this is also the pigeon peas. This is for the chicken and rice. This is sugar-free original barbecue sauce. This stuff's really good. Shouldn't have a bunch of added sugars in your condiments and a lot of stuff like ketchup, barbecue sauce, um, even spaghetti sauce. All of those things come with a lot of added sugar, but you can get them without it. And it's just as tasty, I promise you. But that is for the chicken salad that I'm going to make tonight, barbecue chicken salad. This is also for the rice and just some chicken and rice, just other regular recipes that we have in the house for the s'mores, obviously. Boring stuff, dish detergent. And then I got this giant pack of jasmine rice. I'm gonna put in it the rice container that I have and this will last us a long time. And then I got one of these just in case we need some rice quick to go. My husband eats a lot of rice, a whole lot more than I do. <laughs> and then Hassan also for the chicken and rice, but there's a bunch in there, so I'll use it for other stuff too. And then I love this granola for my yogurt, and that's pretty much all I put it in. Or if I make like an acai bowl, I'll put that in there as well. Hey guys. So I'm about to take that bath I said I was gonna take, and I'm just gonna kind of show you what I got here. I am having a lot better day. I feel like I got so much done, like just everything is organized, put together, and I accomplished a lot of things on my to-do list, which makes me feel like 1,000 times better, like a weight has been lifted. Sometimes you just need days like that to just get a bunch of stuff done to get to just feel better so you feel like you can do other things. Like I'm really excited for tomorrow and for Saturday now because now I have all this extra time where I can go hike, make sure I get in a good couple of workouts, cook, spend time with my family who's coming. It's my daughter's birthday this weekend so I'm gonna make a cake, it's gonna be fun. But anyway, <laughs> enough rambling. I know it seems like I haven't eaten a lot recently or today, recently, today. It's Feels like probably, you know, just a couple minutes for you. But I'm still weaning off the night shifts. I'm moving into like an evening day shift kind of thing. So I'm not really that hungry until later in the night right now because I was on night shift. So after this bath, I'll probably eat again a couple times. So I'll show you that. Anyway, I got the setup all here. I love having the candles going. I'm a rookie and I don't have any bubbles because I ran out, but it's okay because it's a jet tub, so I'll just turn those on. And then I got this from my Fab Fit Fun Box, just a little body scrub. I don't know if that's gonna. And then this is a shampoo bar, which these are supposed to be really good for the environment just because there's not as much plastic and stuff that goes into it. I'll show you the box those came in. And then I've got my sugar scrub from Tula, which I absolutely love, my Billy Razor. And then as I drop it in the tub. That was my conditioner, which honestly, if you haven't tried that kind, smells so good. I keep all my bath stuff in a bin and put it underneath there so I don't, so everything's just like together. It's how I organize it. And then today I used this in the bathtub. Just, I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. And then these are the shampoo bars I was telling you about. My sister actually got these for me, but I know she got them off Amazon. And my husband got me that off Amazon as well, and I will be sure to link both of those things for you so you can check them out if you like. These have lasted me forever. I just honestly just put them right back in here. They don't mold, nothing happens. Like, I've, I've probably had this for six months, at least. But I use it all the time. And then I'm gonna use this clay mask when I get into the tub. And then when I get out, I'll probably use this hydration mask, which I think I also got Actually, I think I got this from my friend Krista as a gift. But either way, gonna use these two masks and you know, self-love, self-care, the whole nine. Okay, now that I'm basically a brand new woman, isn't that funny how like a bath and when you shave and you wash your hair, you just feel completely accomplished. Now I could one up it and do some tan, but I'm not going to, I'm not feeling. 
I'm just gonna show you a couple things I used when I got out. So I keep all my stuff here in this little caddy and I put it underneath the sink. My husband has one too. I just think it keeps my counter clean. All of my products aren't scattered all over the place. I've been using this on my belly and any area that's prone to stretch marks and so far I haven't had any. If you have any, I've also used this too. This, this one's just not as thick. It's a little bit lighter and I actually do like that. But I got this stuff and you know, if you have any other tips or anything else that you'd like or that you like or you know that works better, like throw it in the comments below because I'm definitely all ears. Then I used, if it will load, this lip scrub. It's just basic, it's just vanilla, super simple. And I love it, I love to use it on baths every couple days, especially right now my lips are just dry and I think it's the weather change and I'm not really sure what's up. Then I have some It's a 10 for my hair, which if you are a fake blonde like me, you live and die by this stuff. They have a blonde version of it, but I mean, this stuff still works for me, so I'm not gonna go buy a different version when this is already expensive enough. And I'm kind of a moisturizer whore. I have like a thousand different kinds, but this is what I'm currently using right now for my face. You can use it on your body and everything. I don't have super oily skin, I have super dry skin. And this stuff actually works wonders, I'm almost out. And who knows if I'll buy this or try something else new. I've tried it all, like I had some Tula moisturizer in here earlier, that's my scrub. It's my SPF glow stuff from the Whitney Simmons collaboration. And I love this stuff from Tula. Can I get it to work? Oh, there we go. There you go, you can kind of see it. Right underneath your eyes, and I'd show you right now, but it's like caffeinated and I don't really want to use it before bed. And it's like this instant like boost and brightener underneath your eyes. It's the best, like this. And this is the best combination for like a no makeup. So I'm super tired, so we will see how much I actually eat for the rest of the night because I really need to sleep when I'm tired right now while trying to switch my schedule back. But I am gonna take some of this CBD, just one capsule. I've been using it from Cured Nutrition for mm, probably a month now and it's actually really helped. I've gotten quite a bit of anxiety during pregnancy. I've always, wow, hello, you're all the way up there. I've always had anxiety, but since I've been pregnant, it's like 10,000 times work, work, talk, words are so hard, worse. So I'm using that and it's actually helping a lot. Like I feel like I can just relax a little bit more during the day. Anyway, let's show you what we got next. My pathetic frozen half little acorn squash. And I've got the oven preheated to 400 degrees. I cut these in half and freeze them if I know that they're on sale or they're honestly fairly cheap or if I want to get a bunch to just have ready to go and I scoop them out and then I'll throw them in the oven when I'm ready to eat them. I don't know why, it's just easier for me instead of buying vegetables they are gonna go bad. And I will show you how I'm gonna dress this up. This is my half acorn squash, so I put it in there for 20 minutes. Like 20 minutes by itself, upside down. And then I took it out and put all the toppings on. So you got some of this vegan butter. I put some walnuts in there and this coconut sugar, pure coconut sugar. And then I topped it with one of those perfectly squared marshmallows because YOLO. And then put it in there for another 10 minutes. This is crisped over and those walnuts have cooked and all this is super soft and it's gonna be so freaking good. Okay, while I was waiting, cause it took like 40 minutes to cook all that, I had a mixture of this, which is some regular little chips. This stuff is honestly super good. Avocado ranch, cashew and almond dip, but I don't, oh, let me throw in things. I don't know if I'll buy it again, cause it's from Publix and honestly, it was really expensive for this little bitty container. It was good, but it wasn't like the price good. You know what I mean? And this is my favorite salsa, sweet onion salsa. So freaking good. If you haven't tried this, I know it's at Kroger and I know it's at Publix. And yeah, I think that's the only places I've seen it. Video. Mm -hmm. If I eat anything else, it will be probably this Chobani yogurt. It's the last one I have. I have some plain Greek yogurt in there if I want to mix it up. But I'll probably just have that. 
and then put some granola on top of it. Oh, actually, I think I'm out of granola. So it'll be just that. And then we'll call the night. I know I eat a lot more snacks than I do meals, but I've always been more of a snacker and you know, whatever works for you. It works for me for the most part. There are definitely some days I mix it up. Every single day is different for me because I don't really stick to a strict schedule. I eat when I'm hungry. I do everything based off <clears throat> how I'm feeling, what I feel like I need, what I feel like I'm gonna be doing that day, like workout wise. And right now, since I'm pregnant, I'm definitely giving myself a little bit more leeway to just eat what I'm feeling and eat when I'm hungry because I am the annoying pregnant woman that has no appetite. Uh, honestly, my appetite's finally, I feel like it's kicking in. I don't wanna jinx it, but the last week I have been able to eat. And it's been so nice. I am just about 25 weeks and I have, I went through all the first trimester stuff just like normal people do. So I wasn't really eating then. And then, yeah, and then I just, nothing sounded good ever. I knew I needed to eat, but I wasn't hungry and nothing sounded good. So it was really hard to like, I was just forcing myself to eat things at that point. And now I'm at least able to eat things. So I'm doing what I can and I'm eating as healthy as I can and picking things that I know that as soon as I put them on a plate, I'm not gonna be like, eh, never mind, I don't want that. That is the end of this full day of eating and I feel a lot better now. I just took the CBD, I'm gonna eat this just relax for a little while. Hopefully get some good sleep. And I really hope that this day like helped inspire you on some stuff you can do when you're having a bad day or your emotions are low. If you suffer with anything like anxiety or depression, I am not clinically diagnosed in either, but I know how it feels to have a bad day. And I know when multiple bad days can stack up and turn into something like that because I've experienced that so I'm really really good at listening to those cues and knowing when it's like time to take a break take care of myself and do what needs to be done to just feel better you don't have to have a reason to not feel good you don't you don't and if you don't feel good acknowledge it accept it and then do what you can about it don't make yourself feel bad um, for feeling bad you know? don't shame yourself do what you can and get out of that funk don't talk yourself down into a spiral like punishing yourself or telling yourself that you have no reason to feel bad and ignore those feelings because that's how they build up and how it gets worse so i hope that this really helped you hope it inspired you if you do different things when you feel bad like leave it down below in the comments i'd love to try some of it out i'd love to hear what you guys do and yeah so give this video a thumbs up if you liked it comment down below Give me a lot of your feedback on everything. I'm pretty sure I told you to comment down below in this video like a thousand times. Check out the comments or the description section. I'll have all kinds of stuff linked from this video and my Patreon will be in there as well. It really helps support me and my channel. And yeah, I just appreciate you guys so much. Love you. Good night, babes.